Okay, this is the concept, and we're now in tune to the concept podcast. I'm here alongside Craig, Craig. and Mina, and we have Jamaica biggest and baddest upcoming dancehall artist Slew on the line. Properly, properly, proper mix. What up? What up? Yeah, welcome to the concept podcast, Slew. Yeah. Man. I know you're a busy person, but I mean, and you're probably rough and tough too, a gangster in the streets and all these things. So, and you're probably not so much in tune to your yeah. your your um soft side. I don't know if you're okay with uh, uh, um you know conducting um, such I, <laughs> interviews I would, like this. I, I would prefer to work with subtle side. No okay, your no subtle no side. Yeah. Thing, yeah. Yeah, because side. yeah, I mean, thugs need love too, right? Thugs, thugs fall in love too, yeah, right? That's so. True. Yeah, and Tug's heart get broken too, right? Um, <laughs> yeah, but he's true. only human, some, so yeah. Some. Yeah, to some what? I mean, and and uh, the, I mean, regardless of the fact that you're a gangster and everything, I mean, I'm sure you could also um be expressive of of um y- y- your life's events, you know, regardless of whether it's been good or bad in this know loyalty and um heartbreak because that's what we're discussing right. today right so uh, all right cool yeah right. so well nothing but the truth nothing but the truth okay cool. nothing but the truth okay so i want to ask like could you like describe like the worst experience that you have had you know getting your heart broken i know you're gangster and everything but you, you can open up to yeah. Yeah. nina right here because yeah. you know we don't open up to men we open up to females you know oh. what i mean Open so, up to me now. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> she wants to know what was it like to get in your heart broken for the very first for time. First time. Throw me under the bus for the first. Um, for the first time. Yeah. Um, heart broken for the first time. I don't know how many times your heart been broken. I'm just just choose one. <laughs> <laughs> All right, for the first time. All yeah. Right. Um, heart broken for the first time. Yeah. What well, was that like? I think it was. I think it's my first love, actually. Yeah, your yeah, first I love. Broken, uh, my first love. Yeah. Um. Uh, she 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 broke up with me like after. I think it was like after about five years. Damn. We were in a relationship for five years. Five years. So why so, didn't you just guys just yeah. get married and done? Huh? Why didn't okay. you guys just get married and and, and done with it? Because five years yeah, is a long time. Yeah, that's yeah, and and and, and that's and, and 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 that's where the rough part came in because you know, um, you in a relationship, you know, so for that long, you start to think about that the next level. So yeah, you're not expecting, you know, to break up at that point. But, yeah, but I guess it it goes to show that um, you know, shit happens, you know. People grow apart, um, you know. People change, and 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 there's and see loyalty, you know. Yeah. I guess um, time doesn't necessarily mean loyalty either, because you know, in in my head I was thinking that you know after so long, you know, like yeah. we're 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 where you plan on going after this, you know. If yeah. it's not the next level to build the relationship. You know, yeah. to strengthen the relationship, where are you going? But, but hey, if if you don't mind, happens. if you don't mind us asking, or if you don't mind me asking on the behalf of Mina, because she seems to be very reserved at the moment, you know. So okay. yeah, I, I'm not I'm not sure if if what you're saying is just flying over her head or what. But okay. I mean, okay. yeah, mm-hmm. but Mina, I'm sure he, he he has expressed like you know his first time getting his heart broken. I mean, did you even cry? Um, you're not sure. Thought about it. Thought about it. Um, <laughs> well, <laughs> keep in mind that he's a gangster. Oh, okay, so he might not <laughs> admit Thought that he about cried. it. Okay. Thought about it, but maybe, maybe I will, maybe, maybe. Oh, at some point, eyes... you might have cried. Let me help you. Out. No, okay. no, 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 no. Oh, maybe my eyes got watery. <laughs> okay. okay. So you um, cried your eyeballs out. You know? Oh my God. And... Yeah. Yo. My eyes got watery. Okay. A tear didn't fell. So oh. I don't can <laughs> <laughs> Okay, gangsters don't cry. Okay, so I mean, how, how did she drop the yo, bomb on you, yo? Yo, yo. Yo. You're pushing this gangster <laughs> thing. It's not even about gangster. We're 
we just what we call real youth. We, we real youth. We are real youth. <laughs> what is what's that? What is that about? Oh, you don't know oh, what a real youth, a youth, real youth is? Wait, wait, Craig, Craig yeah, don't know a, what a real youth is. Okay, a real youth. What a real youth is? Yeah. All right, what a real youth is is that we keep it real in all situations. Right. right? Um, you weigh the pros <clears> and the cons. Um, you you tell it like it oh, is. Oh, I, I got you. I got you. Um, you express it like it is. But at the same time, but at the same time, you have to be firm. You know, regardless of what the situation is, you have to you have to hold it together. So that's basically what it is. So it's not just being gangster. It's not a matter of being gangster, but you just be a real youth. Um, worse if it's not your fault. You know why you're in the situation. You know you can't falter. You know you can't let the situation overpower. Yeah, exactly. It's just, just you gotta you gotta just gotta my, be real. Just as my first. You know, heartbreak. It wasn't my fault. I think it wasn't my fault to this day. Well, it's never our fault as men, anyways. <laughs> well, I'm not going to go there, so. As a real youth, I'm not going to say that. <laughs> I'm going to be real about it. I'm not going to say okay. that. Because half the time, we, we as men, we do do stuff, but we tend to feel like we want to blame the females because we claim that, you know, they're emotional. Which that's not necessarily the case. Yeah. So I might be real about it, but at the time it wasn't me. It wasn't me. Um, Just like Shaggy she said, says that it we wasn't were, me. She says she that we were growing me. apart, but then I never knew about that. I yeah. think nothing was said, and maybe I wasn't attentive enough. Yeah. You know, which looking back at it now, probably that's what it was. Yeah. You know, I wasn't paying much attention to it, but I'm saying that's why. I, you know, communication is important, you know, yeah, in a relationship. Yeah, Very you important. That. You let, let somebody know because sometimes they just might miss it, you know. So, yeah. Yeah. But, yeah. You see, no our... tear fell. <laughs> I said he didn't cry. <laughs> all right. You, you see, all right. You guys are Americans. So you guys don't really understand. In Jamaica, it's, it's you see, men, they don't usually admit to, to, to um things like this, like getting their hearts broken. And it's very hard for them to, to um speak on this in public. You know what I mean? We we usually just have the mentality of being tough. Yeah, I mean I, I think that it go like like it's an American thing too. It, yeah. it's just I think it just I don't think I don't think it doesn't matter where you're from. It just being a man thing in a society where we're always like the dominant ones. We're always like the protectors and all this stuff. So you have to be tough. You can't really show any of this stuff. So it's not just Jamaica. It's, it's America. All it's all guys it's, in general. Yeah, it's, I think it's all. I think it's pretty much all guys in like most cultures. That's um that's very true. I mean, I, I don't know what it's like in Haiti, um, Mina. So I mean. What, what is his mentality like? Been don't there. She don't know either. I've never been there. <laughs> oh, but she, yeah. Yeah. Mina is was first generation American, right? Yeah. yeah. Oh, so yeah. yeah. First generation American. Haitian American. Yeah. yeah, I don't want to fall too too far off the topic, but I mean, okay, Craig, because I know you have gotten your heart broken like plenty of times, but we just want to know about the worst time, <laughs> one time. <laughs> The worst time sucks, man. The worst time was me with this chick in uh in college, right? We was kind of like friends for a long time and then we were sort of going to cross this line but it was kind of like you know pushing pull it, you know okay the the other girl right you know the one i can't name at the moment but you know the one talking you about recent one name, Craig. We don't know it's, it's 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 like it was like that man but like when it all came to a head at the end it kind of sucks you know yeah, because you you put yourself out there then it doesn't work so it's like you end up you feel you end up feeling like you you know you're paid like you would play, like you feel a little oh. dumb, like you know you got your feelings hurt too, oh, because shit. you put yourself there, and then for whatever reason it's rejected. So yeah, yeah kind of you, you poor thing. We yeah, dog, pain, that shit hurts, pain, man. man. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> you ain't gotta cry your eyeballs out right now. I mean, I'm sorry to drag you down memory lane. <laughs> no nah, man, I did cry. It just got watery, man. Just like shit. <laughs> I feel you, shit. My watery. eyes got watery too, man. Oh shit. Hey, you know what? I, I'm not even gonna be um like hey. I can be gangster, I can be whatever, but I mean, yo, it's better to have had love than never at all. And when I got hurt for the very first time, I was, man, I was, I was torn up because it happened at a very um, messed up time in my life. Because, I mean, 
you know, I was, I was okay. I made it an accident at that time, you know, and I was very vulnerable, you know, when all of those events uh, un unraveled. And, um, you know, not everybody gonna, okay. I feel like um, we, we went into, into the relationship thinking that, you know, things were gonna be for the better, but never for the worse. And when the worst came, I mean, not everybody knows how to handle that shit. You know what I mean? So, you know, how, how I, I, I knew her, so I kind of had an idea of what she, she must have been doing something, you know? So I, I actually initiated the process of us. Um, I asked, asked her if she wants to, to break up and she told me no. I told her that she's not in love with me anymore as she used to be. And um, she insisted that I'm just thinking things, I'm being naive, and my insecurities are high and shit like that. But what happened, how I definitely knew that she was having other things happening out there was um, there was a point where she used my laptop to back up some files on her phone. And when I got my, my laptop back from her, I went into it, I saw some new files, and I was like, shit, this, you know what, I'm digging into this. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's your computer and there's new files. Yeah, exactly. Gonna... I just saw the files and it was all her messages from, from her phone. You know, at that time we were using Blackberry. You okay. know what I mean? Were there any, so were there any other hard evidence, like photos? Oh, well, there are really videos. much, no, the, not really the photos, but it was like um, text. I mean, because okay. I I couldn't I there were voice notes, but I couldn't listen to them through the computer. Oh, okay. You know what I mean? So okay. I saw the, oh. the the messages, you know, like where guys would would talk to her and about shit, and she'd be okay to meet them and shit like that. And um, I basically I went through every. It was like almost a thousand, probably over a thousand messages on on that shit. I went through everything. You know what I mean? I was, I was, you know, you know, I was a bit gangster going through them, but I mean, then I bring, I brought it to her. I mean, she kept denying she, so I said, you know, I, I, I um, told her that I saw everything on the laptop and that's when she brought down in tears, crying her eyeballs out and shit. And, and, um, Cause she could not deny anything anymore. You know, she was caught and then she was, she ran out of the room holding her head and shit, crying her eyeballs out. And then she came back into the room. So. You know, she broke down on the floor. She fell on the floor crying because, I mean, one of the worst things for women is to be confronted with the truth after they've been denying shit. You know what I mean? And th at that point, she couldn't deny anything anymore. So um, we had to tackle it on. You know what I mean? Hey, I was, I was hurt. I, I, my eyes kind of got watery to an extent. You know what I mean? <laughs> So, <laughs> you know, because Water it to an extent. Yeah, to, a, to an extent. I, I don't see. I don't know if it was because the time was hot. It was in the in basically in the summer, and you know, you know, it was kind of hot yeah, at that keep, time. So yeah, maybe I was just real. sweating. You never know. I probably was just perspiring. You blink your you eyes and I mean? the waterfall ran out. Yeah, yeah, I was sweating, man. My eyes started to sweat. Shit. So, <laughs> so you know, hey, we 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 dealt with that. Shit. And you know what's the most fucked up thing too? At that moment, I was playing Drake, and I was playing this song that Drake had when we said, um, um, shit. When it, it um, when a, when a good thing goes Wednesday bad, it's not the end of the world. It's just the end of a world. You know that song, right? When a good when a when a good thing goes bad, it's not the end of the world. It's just the end of a world. Some shit like that. And you know that song is a very sad song. So at the time when that shit happened, yo, like it, it kind of just intensified the sadness of the moment. And I mean, hey, we we were there just crying, not talking, just crying. I mean, she What's was crying, crying, you know. Oh so. no, you said it, man. Don't take it. <laughs> 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 a little too late. Oh, oh, shit, no worries. Right yeah, yeah, we cried together. Oh. But but then, you know, we, we tackled that shit and um we were being honest. You know, she told me that it wasn't necessary that she wanted to do shit. You know, she had friends that influenced her a lot and shit, even though that's not a good excuse. But I mean, she kept even denying that she had sex with everybody that she was um agreeing to meet and shit. She kept denying that she I mean, but come on, we are men, we know shit happened. You know what I mean? I mean, I'm, I don't want to, without the hard proof that she was having sex, the texts were there to say that she met up with people and in and, and the, and the, the moment being together and stuff. But she cannot tell me that she never had sex with anybody. You know what I mean? I would never believe that shit. 
you know? So after that, you know, because I couldn't trust her anymore. And the thing is with me, once once I trust you so much and you destroy the perception that I have of you, it, it's very hard to regain that shit. I, I, we, That's for everybody. Well, you know, it's probably even worse for me. You know what I mean? Because I'm, I'm a straight up person. You ask me a question, I, I tell you straight up. You know what I mean? So, you know, I don't want to drag this out too much because, you know, going back into the past, is, is, you know, it kind of fucks up my mood at the moment. But, hey. Um, okay, so we dealt with that shit and we were, we were on and off. And we probably, we kept having sex for like up to two years without even being in a relationship. I had other people and that was like the worst moment for her because when she found out that I started having other girls, you know, that shit teared her up. And she was trying her best to get back on my good side at that point. But, it, you know, it was too far gone then. Way too far. So, so um, hey, Mina, I, know, I don't want to drag this shit out too much because I know, <laughs> I know you've had your heart broken probably like countless times. So, uh, 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 oh, shit. Yo. I don't know what happened. Yo, yo. The, the call just yeah. went. The call just yeah, went. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, probably. Yeah, it fell. Uh, yeah. So, so. Uh, we, but I'm back. Yeah, we're on Mina. I'm back. Yeah, yeah. Mina, Mina. I know you heart. My heart is stronger now. <laughs> <laughs> so Mina, yep. come, Mina is kind of shy to tell us about her first heartbreak. I mean, you, you probably would have had <laughs> heartbreaks. You don't have to tell us about everything. Nah, she might be the heartbreaker, man. Oh no. Oh, yeah. Yeah. She might be the heartbreaker. Oh no. Yeah. So come on. Mina. Okay. Don't, so this Lisa. is not my like first heartbreak, but this is one of the ones that I can't really forget about. Okay. So I was I was friends with this guy for like more than two years or whatever, oh, shit, shit. and things started to move forward forward like out of nowhere, and like we started dating, and no one liked it the fact that me and him were dating. Why not? I have no clue, honestly. I literally have no clue. I guess it's because his ex or something. I don't know. But no one actually liked the idea of me and him being together. But that didn't bother me. That didn't bother him. And everything was cool. But when like, I started noticing that there was this one particular girl that always would acknowledge him and not me every time me and him go somewhere. And I wasn't really the jealous type, so I really didn't care. It was when one day at a wedding, I guess me and him were at the table. And then the same girl came over. And she just sat with us and started talking. And then out of nowhere, she just grabs him and went to the dance floor. Again, I wasn't jealous, so I didn't really care. And that night, everything was good. You know, she went home, me and him talked, and then everything was okay. The very next day, he broke up with me. He gave it away. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. That was yeah, he, he got, he got, bad. he probably got introduced to some good so, stuff. Oh, Lord. You know what I mean? And he, he, he felt like he needed to upgrade. He's um. <laughs> oh, great! Shut up! Great. Yeah, I'm sorry. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I mean, it, hey, we, we can laugh about this shit right now because it has already happened and we have moved past it. Now, I mean, don't don't think we're being insensitive, but I, 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 you know, it's good to laugh about these things because it's and it's. I think it's good that I had my heart broken because now I I feel like. I'm more yeah, careful. Yeah. I'm more yeah. careful yeah. towards yeah. the relationship. Yeah, I'm I'm beginning to feel like this is your after after therapy as well. <laughs> but anyway, yeah, yeah. Well, <laughs> go, go ahead. <laughs> yeah, but go I mean, ahead. come on. I mean, you can't be too gangster all the time. You know what I mean? Hey, yeah, right. man, it's it's good to have had your heart broken. As they said, it's better to have had love than never at all. You know what I mean? And and once you've been learning from your experiences, hey. It's all good over here, man. I'm I'm all right. I'm cool with it. Yes, it's better to it's better to have love than have lost than to not have loved at all. Exactly. All right. You know, but but on on the <laughs> writer side, I mean, hey, not not everybody that you're with will you will forever be with for the rest of your life. You know what I mean? Yeah. So you, you just have, have to, to just, just you know go through the motions. And, and, and pick up from where you left off and learn from your mistakes. Uh huh. Okay. So um, okay. On the other, on on the brighter side of things, on the brighter side of things. Oh, you were you wanted you to say something? something? I wasn't done. Oh, yeah. you just you cut me off. Oh, I'm very sorry. Oh I didn't realize. Okay, <laughs> continue with the heartbreak <laughs> story. <laughs> Well, you gotta pick up from where you left off. Pick up 
up. Yeah, pick up from where you <laughs> left off, Nina. So the very next day, he broke up with me, and the excuse was that no one liked it, the fact that um, we were together, and that didn't really make sense because we were together for so long. Why didn't it bother you then, but why is it bother you now, okay. you know? So after Detect that, we break up, whatever. I was in a heartbreak, anyway. you know, didn't want to talk <laughs> to anybody. Then four days later, he started dating the exact same girl or whatever that, you know, wow. just, yeah. That, that must have hurt. hurt. <laughs> <laughs> he probably, she was probably giving him something that I didn't want to give. So. Oh, she, see, see, that's the thing. That's, that's why when you, when, when you get a guy to keep that guy, you got to put it on him real good, Nina. No. <laughs> you got you to gotta stamp your name on that thing right there. Yeah, you were, you know you I mean? were holding back, Nina. You, you see, you always telling us that when we talk and shit, that you got to put your back into it. So here what? You <laughs> should put your back into it. <laughs> oh, no. Mm, uh, I was not ready. Huh? Mm, I don't know with that, Nina. Huh? With that. Ain't nothing wrong with that, Mina. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Mina, the thing is though, like when you have a guy, hey, you gotta you gotta put it on him real good. So you don't matter which girl he goes out there and get, he gonna always come back. Well, he came back alright. Oh, he came back. See Mina, see Mina got skills, man. Mina said he came back. He came back. I said no. Oh, oh no. That must have hurt. Mm -hmm. Came back like a, a frisbee. Oh, <laughs> have you guys ever been like the heartbreaker? The heartbreaker? Oh, well, I could say no, but I mean, somebody no, has been tell you something different. No. So y'all no. never broke the few hearts? Uh, okay. It, I wouldn't say I broke hearts. It's like, okay, I've, I've been, been in situations I've, I've, where... I've had, I've had to like break it off before because like the chick was getting a little too crazy, but it was never <laughs> like... Yeah. Oh, like this girl, man... When I, I moved back home, well, what year is that? Like 2000. It was a long time ago, man, but she was crazy as fuck, dog. Like, this chick would call me late at night, drunk, driving, crying, all kinds of shit, right? I have no idea what's happening. I have no idea why she's doing this, and she did it all the time. So, in that case, I had to just, like, yo, we, I can't do this no more. <laughs> so, it didn't, it didn't get serious, but she was a girl that I thought that maybe I could get serious with, but... Once I saw that part of her, it just completely turned me off. So <laughs> I don't know how she took it, but I was like, I'm out. I'm fucked up. Probably broke her heart. <laughs> yeah. Okay. It, was, it was cool for like, we knew each other for years, but I was like, no, man, I can't do it. You just couldn't do it to yourself, man. You can't I, do it. I can't, I can't be in a situation where somebody's acting crazy for reasons that I have no idea about and it won't even tell me. So it was like. Maybe you put it on her too good, Craig. I don't know oh what happened, dog. <laughs> hey, hey, sex. I don't know sex what happened, man. But sex I, I, will mess a girl's mind up, dog. She just go crazy because she, she she couldn't stand the thought of you giving it to, to somebody I else. You know? know. That's true. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know. Yeah. I don't no, know. no, Craig. No, Craig. You must have put it on her real good. I mean, as as for me, if you should ask me if I've ever broken anybody's heart, I would tell you not deliberately, because. I've been in situations before where I get into, I don't even, I, I shouldn't even say a relationship, but I get into things and um, she wants things to go too fast. You know what I mean? And I wasn't loving at her speed. So that hurt for her. I, I didn't really break her heart, like cheat on her and stuff, but she wanted things to move too fast and my heart wasn't beating at the level as fast as her heart was beating. You know, falling in oh, love and shit. Exactly so, huh? No, 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 speak, speak into the mic, Mina. Be brave about your speech, man. Don't, don't talk me behind my back. Uh, I'm just agreeing with what you're saying right now because that's exactly what happened with my last relationship. So, see, in the beginning, but then yeah. things flipped over the years. So, yeah, his heart was beating fast and my heart was not even there. You know, you see, I mean, shit happens, yo. And, and, um, hey, Slew. Slew. God damn, this man must have fall asleep on the call, yo. Yo! Mm. Dude, <laughs> man, <laughs> quit playing with yourself and talk, <laughs> dog. <laughs> what? Yo, I, I, I'm, I'm saying, okay, um, we have broken a couple of hearts. Um, um, so, so we'd like to know how many hearts have you broken, like, you know. Who, me? Yeah, you dog. Um, Confession is good for the soul, man. Get um, it out. Get it out. Uh, 
Must have been there's... a couple groupies here and there. Every now and then. All right, the only one that actually meant something to me, like I really mm-hmm. felt sorry about. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, one. I, I think just one, one. That I really felt so bad. Other than <laughs> wow. chilling with a girl, the only yeah, one of them alone if he's sorry for. That I, wow. that I felt bad about. Like... <laughs> I yeah. sense there is something you're not like telling us was... about, man. Just cough it up, man. Cough it up. And don't worry, man. She's not listening. I don't. I don't, I don't even know. J- she, just... she was. <laughs> um, I think it came. It what it came down to was that she she was in love, and I knew she was. Damn. But I wasn't feeling the same, oh. but I still went along with it, and I think. It came down to when she actually asked me. Oh, you know, shit. she was like, you know, I, I, I love you. Don't you feel the same? Ho, ho. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> what did you tell her? <laughs> I, I think it was time to tell her. I, I told her no. Shit. Oh, man. my God. Man, that, man that's you're that's a savage, that. dog. You're <laughs> a savage. <laughs> and, yeah, and yeah, I feel, I took, even now I still feel bad about it. Like, um, I think my conscience made me reach out to her, like, after. Shit. You know, you know but... Um, <laughs> man, man, shit, man. I feel yeah, sorry for her, just, too, man, that shit. One, man. <laughs> man, my eyes are getting <laughs> watery and shit, just hearing this story, man. <laughs> man you're, oh, you're a savage, man. <laughs> but, but I'm sorry, though. Uh, um, she she's okay though. I still I, I hope like she, I hope she's okay. I hope um, if I she hope ever hears this, she she will uh, you know accept your apology. Accept my yeah. <laughs> I hope she does though. Yeah. I, yeah. yeah. I After all it, those tears of a broken good. heart, you know, I ask for forgiveness. You know, yeah, I ask for forgiveness. So. I, I I hope you have been forgiven. Yeah, I hope so too. Yeah, yeah. but yeah, it was one but, of them things. Though. But I mean, on the flip side, you know, I'm I'm sure that we have had loyal girls in our lives. Our Mina has had loyal men. I I, I wish, um, I would have had like all loyal girls. You know yeah, what I mean? Yeah, but it's but it's loyal to. But I think loyal. But how do you measure loyalty though? Because I can say, uh, my first heartbreak, she was loyal. Yeah, well, for, for five for years. Five years, yeah. So, until... Yeah, so it's to an extent, really. But, you know, how do you measure loyalty, though? Yeah. You could that's... be loyal to you today and then tomorrow. It's a different thing. Or you could be loyal to somebody today and then by later on, it's a different thing. I don't know. How do yeah, you measure it? You see, uh, Let's start off with see, that. So... What do you use to measure loyalty? Wow. <laughs> Wait, man. I, I just think um, there's really no way to measure loyalty, you know what I mean? But... If okay. I, I think you looking at the good, I think you probably could measure it um using um weighing the, the um to see if like if there are more good than bad. Cause I mean, hey, if you're with somebody for like five years, right? And they they you didn't know they were cheating on you. So I guess they're only disloyal when you find out that they're cheat they're cheating. No, I mean, okay. so th- uh, she could hit you with it. Hey, I'm not a terrible person. I've been with you for five years and I was loyal and I messed up this um, once. So um, in that um, case, she, 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 she has a point. She has been more loyal than disloyal. Okay. You know, so it's not like she, I don't know. It's not like you all have right. proof that she's been cheating all the five years. You know what okay. I mean? Yeah, but when you um, say that when you say that she was loyal for like five years and then not loyal in this one moment, it's almost like you're looking at it that way purely from like a logical point of view, which in that case would make sense. But like when you in love with somebody, or whatever, you don't follow logic; it just goes out the window. So logic for five years and then one kind of you know slip up. Yeah, you but know, on yeah, on on on, 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 on window. yeah, on paper you would say okay, that's nothing, right? But you don't. You forget so, about that when you actually in so, a situation. You yeah, just so you could forgive her then concept. Like after five years, and it's just this one thing. I guess you could forgive her then. Yeah, like like on like on like on nah. paper, it seems like you would, but <laughs> 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 like, no. like when you say it the way that you just said it, Carlos, it's like okay, that that kind of make you seem like you could do it, but when you're in a situation, you don't give a fuck about what's. 
there or whatever. You just go about how you feel in that moment. Yeah, that's, that's, true. that's true. But guess what? After that moment of you just dealing with the heartbreak, because you're in, you're still in shock. After a while, like a month or or two, or you know, however long you take to get over your your heartbreaks. I mean, you you're gonna look back at things and you say, well, at some point you'll be like, um, well, she did do more good than bad, and and um. But you're still going to be like, okay, fuck it. She did more good than bad, but I feel hurt. So you're going to be like, okay, screw it. You're not going to go with it. True. Yeah, so, well, for me, I probably wouldn't. You know what I mean? Because I, I, I'm not going to be able to trust you enough, but that won't say that I won't have sex with you still. But I, I probably would not get, get into something, something you know, more se- serious <laughs> as the first time. Because cause no, I know what you're capable of. Because at first, I probably was thinking that, nah, she would never cheat on me. But now you know. Yeah. So there's, there's a, a difference. difference. Yeah. Big difference. Yeah. So if you had her up on a pedestal, you, you would take, take her, her off that, that shit now. No. Never put anybody on a pedestal because nobody's perfect like that. Just, yeah, that's, that's, that's true. Number one. Uh, and I'm, I'm, I'm actually, actually glad that you stopped doing that, Craig. <laughs> 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 yeah, I learned that lesson a long time ago. Yeah. Don't do that. Well, they say love makes you do some crazy things. Exactly, though, so. especially if you this is like um, if it's your first time in love. I don't know it depends on the extent of which, like, if you were in love at the time. Or, yeah, you know, it, it's you it's love like the person, like you know, you can love the person, but you know, being in love is a, a different, different thing. thing. Way different. Yeah. yeah. So. Uh, yeah. Well. I don't know. <laughs> Yeah. Oh no. So 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 I right. okay. Mina. Do, do do you think men are capable of being loyal for a lifetime? Well then again, I shouldn't say a lifetime. Cuz I mean some people are. Do, do you think it's possible for somebody to just a loyal for your lifetime? Like I don't know which one of you guys are going to die first, first, but do you think <laughs> like it's it's, it's 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 possible, possible for a guy to be loyal? But then again, what do you consider a full relationship. Because I was going to say, do you, do you consider a guy, it's possible for a guy, I mean, knowing that so many men mess up these days, but do you think it's possible for a guy to be completely loyal to you for like a full term of relationship? Yes. Let's just say, let's just say a full term of relationship is like 25 years. Know what I mean? <laughs> so, you think that's possible for a guy to be with you for 25 years and never have sex with anybody else? else? Yes. Or not even think about, about it? it? Thinking about it, I'm not sure because I don't be. Oh, in thinking about it, impossible, impossible, dude. I'm, right uh, off the bat, you cannot say that at no point you would never think about having sex with somebody else. You may not. You guys actually, do, you may, do you, that. You may not actually do it, but you're gonna think about it. Exactly. To say oh, yeah. you won't think yeah. about Especially it, when you see a cute girl walk by and y'all look at her butt, the first I thing y'all think about is how it lies. would look <laughs> without <laughs> the clothes and yeah, yeah with everything. <laughs> so yes, that's impossible with thinking yeah, but, about it. Yeah, you're gonna but physically. That's uh, possible. No, sometimes I'm just looking to see if it's real. You know what I mean? Because, I mean, these girls, the booty on these girls, these sometimes days, you know, it's like they Sometimes I want to know how, 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 how good of a person she is. Like, sometimes, you know. You guys can just look at her face. Yeah. I don't need to look at her butt to know what type of yeah. person she is. No, but but I mean the. Yeah, I want to know if she would go to the homeless shelter and and, and feed <laughs> this, the the. the yeah, yeah, I, the homeless. I want to know those things. Yeah, I want to know if she's yeah. a good humanitarian. I she, she's I sexy as hell, but. <laughs> I want to know if she's kind. Yeah. Of course. You know, can can we pray together? Yeah, <laughs> hold hands and, and have good conversations and stuff. Yeah, yeah, it's not always yeah, about sex. About Those all... things matter. Right. Yeah, you, okay. yeah, you could see a sex girl. Like, I wonder if Those she can cook good. Matter. Did you just say it's not all about sex? <laughs> no, it's, did not, you just it's, say it's, it's not always all about sex. Earlier, you said if someone crossed you, you won't really not think always. about them the same way, but you will still have sex. Yeah, 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 you could still have sex. What? <laughs> Let sex be free, man. <laughs> oh, Lord. But, I mean, come, come on, on, listen to me. <laughs> We're humans. We, we get horny. You know what I mean? So... But men get horny a lot. So do women. It's just that women are more able to control it better than men. That's so true. I don't really know about that, though. No. I've met some that... That's because... I, you... think they, no. I, I think they go harder than me. <laughs> Wait, that's, be, that's because you keep coming <laughs> so, across prostitutes. I, or, I don't or, know. I mean, you, I, mean you, I, guess, <laughs> I guess you probably know too many prostitutes, man. But I've met some... Of course, and I've met some who, like, 
I'm sure if 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 uh, if if like I even have some messages, WhatsApp messages, like those stuff are like I probably should delete them, but like those messages uh-huh. are scary. So you know, and and like you would expect that from from a man, like you know, but and these texts are coming from women. Yeah, you know, we're being like. Come on, give it a chance. Let me put it on you. Like, yo, I'm almost, yo. I almost feel violated. Like, what's up? I, feel, I feel like the prey. What's yo. happening here? Yo, but, hey, what you saying? That's some real shit. Because honestly, yo, I don't know if if it's because of the influence of social media or or what. But <laughs> women these days, they just making the moves, dog. It's like one time a woman would like she present herself to you, like she make sure you see her. She might smile and wave, but these days they walk up to you and hey, they they let you know that they like you. I, I actually, yeah, I guess I I like I guess that. It's, 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 well, I guess it's just the drive. It's the go getter generation. Ex- yeah, exactly. You want it? Go get it. Go get it. Cause I feel like, hey yeah. man, if you see what now, you want, wait. exactly. <laughs> I mean, uh, how many guys have you just made moves on? Like, you know, I don't know if you no. flirt around a lot. Right? No. <laughs> Yeah, you don't do that? That. No. Do you yeah, have a problem with just seeing a guy that you like and you feel like you need to have him and you just go get him? Yeah. Cause that's a that's a boss <laughs> move. That's a boss move right there. You know what I mean? Cause I mean, like for them to notice me. If they don't notice me. If you don't notice you, oh oh I I get what you're saying. But nothing is wrong with, with, with just flashing your hair a little bit and you know, spinning around, you know, let them see you from behind, let them know that you have a nice ass and shit. Like cause at the end of the day, man. If you have a beautiful face and you don't have a wonderful ass, like a huge ass or a spankable ass, I mean, a lot of the times the guys might look past you as a woman. That's just how it is. Because we like, we like to see things on a woman that stimulate our minds. So I'm just saying, like, you know, you should just, just exhibit. Put, put yourself on a good exhibition in front of his eyes. You ain't got to throw yourself at him. But, I mean, let, let him realize. Let him, you know. I disagree, man, because we both know a certain person who is all about that. And the moment that, like, there's a difference between somebody, a girl, showing you in a way that's not over the top. Like, when it's to the point where they all up in your face about it, it kind of seems like, okay, they'll just be easy. And then that takes away some of their attraction. Uh, oh, maybe okay. I'm the only one, but it's like, yeah. Well, maybe, maybe you're the only one, Craig. No, but nah, we're not. We had this conversation before, dog. <laughs> I'm not the only one. You told me that shit too, <laughs> oh, dog. Oh, oh, okay, yeah, now yeah, I'm gonna be. I'm gonna be shit, real. Man. But it depends. Yeah, it be depends real. because guess what? If she wants a long term relationship, and she made the move on me, I'm not gonna want a long term relationship. But if it's a case where she just want to have sex, I mean, you never know, man. I just oh might go gosh. with it. You never know. Hey, I'm a you're very kind go person. With it. I'm a, I'm a very generous person, but if I have a girl already, I I mean I wouldn't let her get some. I wouldn't I wouldn't give her that privilege to get some. You know what I mean? But I'm just saying, like if I'm single and she makes a move on me and she she's a very appealing, I, I I might just you never know, man. I might fall to that temptation. You know, I'm not Jesus. I'm not I'm not gonna act like I'm perfect. Uh, oh, okay. Wait, wait. Concept. Yeah. You're saying to me, like if if a girl's all out step to you, you will use that as basis as not as as not to wife. Yeah. Why? Un- un- unless I have um a lot of Why? evidence that it she does he doesn't have him regularly. Because when a girl makes a move on you, that shows you that I mean she she that more than what? likely would have done that a lot with other guys. Hey. No, doesn't mean, I, it doesn't mean it doesn't it doesn't that's mean, how I look at it. Unless, I don't agree neither. Like it doesn't mean that she done it with a lot of guys. Like no. you can she can approach you and it doesn't mean that she approached a hundred guys before you. Yeah. It's just like okay, let's say okay, know the girl I'm talking about, right? The the M. No, okay? I don't I don't know that girl. Name starts with M, you know what I'm talking about, man. Oh, man Super I'm... easy. Like, nah dude. Nah dog. Okay. Because of because okay. of that, it's like no, I wouldn't want any of that. Mm-hmm. Not you. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, what, what is happening <laughs> here? Like, nothing. No. Oh, oh, man, you guys have something hiding or something? <laughs> no. <laughs> My name is Mina. Come he on, said man, girl with up. M. And I'm looking at him like, what? Uh, oh, what? Oh, what? <laughs> oh, no, no. Why would I talk about you, you right here? <laughs> okay. I wouldn't get myself hurt like that. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I don't feel like getting beat up today. <laughs> <laughs> Yo. But, I, all right. Yo, like, if she makes the move, man, th- that, that might just... Show me that no. It she, simply she means make... that she knows what she wants, man. Yeah, yeah she's she, trying to get you it. You got everything that she needs, and she's just not going to let you get away. I don't have a problem with it. I guess the problem that I would have, it depends on how she comes at me. Like, okay. if you come at me, you just want to give it up. Like, I'm like, all right, like, you just want to give it up. But if it's a case, like, I see that you're interested, you know? She's calling, she's texting, hey, what's up? Then I know that she's interested, you know? She's yeah. applying more pressure than I am. Yeah, but a part, a, a part, I have no problem but don't forget, that. a part of you will also wonder, like, how often does she make moves on guys? Mm-hmm. No, I'm not, no, I'm not gonna wonder. A part, I'm, no, you're, I'm you're a human. Catch. A part, no, a part, a especially catch. when you that see I'm her being catch. very friendly with other guys. I'm a good catch. I have no well, problem well, I'm, with we're that. We're not disputing that you I can understand that you're... where she's coming from. Well, <laughs> hey, hey. Mean? Nah, nah, but... <laughs> yo, you're no gonna think it, yo. Thing. You're going to think that, oh, man, like... Yo. she. No, yo, you're going to the think only, it. The only reservation I would have, it depends on how she comes at. That's the only thing. Okay. I, that, well, that how. too. If, she, if it's yeah. okay, she's just coming all out, like... Did she just make it all out be about sex and that's all she wanted? Maybe that I can say, all right, then probably just leave it at sex. I won't, but okay. So, so know, what but, if that same girl she made a move yeah. on you, right? She made a move on you and okay, she takes forever to give it up. She takes forever to give it up, yeah. Like she well, makes see, a move on you but, and she takes very right, long so, to give you some. So, I guess, so I guess it's due process. Okay, you know, no, then I can't hold that against her. Oh, yeah, okay. No, but you see, say, Carlos. As I say, it's, just, it's not what she oh does. My it's God, just how she does it. I think I have to talk about you like that, Mina. Yeah, yeah. but but the, the, I don't have a problem. Huh. And yeah. then I might I even I say if she just want to give it up. No, the, I might say I don't want a wife. But then what <laughs> if she gives it up and she blows like, my mind very quick? And then I get to find yeah, out that like, this girl is is all that. Like I'm sure there are guys who actually. Decided, like, see, you just really see a girl and you know all you want from her is me. probably sex. And then after the sex, you if I start to find out, like, hey, she's yeah. wanted. Yeah. <laughs> you know, so it's it, like, oh, man, all right, I wasn't planning on this, but that's what I'm saying. Uh, you wait, start wait. to find out. Yeah, I, I think Craig Craig is trying to say something. No, 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 no. It was, it was a side. I had to tell yeah. Mina something. Side note. Oh, see, you you guys just keep keeping Put secrets, man. Do not we're it's doing a stuff. podcast right here, man. You guys are on the side, <laughs> just, just 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 giggling at each other and shit, man. Man, we need to know what's happening, yo. Just clarify something, and we're good, man. <laughs> come on, man. C- come on, get it out, Craig. <laughs> good, Do you man. feel like you want to <laughs> just make a confession, yo? Mina's no, no, right no, no, here, no, no, man. No, no, this no, is the no, right no, platform no. to do it. Okay, all, 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 all I'm back. All, all remember I was now, we, remember now, we're repping for real youth. Yeah, <laughs> real youth. Okay. <laughs> okay. Hold it down, Craig. Tell it like all, it is. <laughs> all, all I was saying to her, right? Because she thought I was. All I was saying to her is that, like, there is a such thing as when a chick appears to be too easy right if if a girl if you see a girl and, and like like okay there's a girl that i have in mind right i barely know this chick i barely know her right and without even really flirting with her without really doing anything right i've already seen this like some pictures of the girl that i shouldn't have seen already that she's just showed me and that i know that she'll just show the next guy that walks up to her if she if you flirt with her for more than five minutes so it's like I'm saying like chicks like that, that shit is not attractive. But if I meet another girl like that, I, I don't want that. That's what I'm saying to me. That's what I'm just telling her. The way Carlos looking, he look like he definitely want that. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> <laughs> no, like, like, hey, I have okay. standards. Okay. Now, now, okay. now she looks really good now. Yeah. But I see how her behavior is, so it's like I don't want to hit that because, okay, it's probably a hundred other dudes that hit that. Like, this this girl tells me stuff about guys that I don't even need to know and guys I don't even know. She just tells me this shit. So yeah. the moment the moment that I do something, 
I'm just going to become one of the guys that she's telling other guys mm-hmm. about. So I don't want to be a part of that list is what I'm saying. Oh, you don't want to be a statistic. <laughs> not not one oh of her God. statistics. <laughs> oh, you see? <laughs> okay. Do do you want to have do you want to have sex with, with the girl that I can have sex with today and then this dude has sex with her tomorrow like dog. Oh, hell no. That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. Oh, hell no. no we no. both know this person, man. And, and you, and know, you like, know what's nah. crazy, yo? I don't know. Like, a girl told me before, like, she told me she likes me, right? She she told me she likes me. And, I mean, hey, I have to respect her for being very honest. But as much as we love honesty, we don't don't always want it. It, Just to be real. We think we always want it, but we don't. All right. So she tells me she likes me and everything, right? And then further on in the conversation, she going to tell me that, uh, she she used to be a stripper. She used to sell her body and stuff like <laughs> Shit. that. I'm like, hey, I'm what, why what? are you telling me this? Like, if you like me, I don't need to hear she's that. She's being honest, man. No, it's she's good that she's honest. honest. But I mean, hey. It's good that she's honest, but man, now you don't want it. No, that's a, that's a turn honest, off. Bro. Because the thing with see, me. You see, your life is funny, though. Uh-huh. We, we, we can't take honesty sometimes. You yeah, know? yeah, just like I, I'm saying, Especially. you know. Especially. Especially when it comes to things like that. But what if, what if she, she gave a different side? You mm-hmm. know, she painted a picture that you know seemed cool to you, and then you went ahead and you got married, and then you found out that she used to do all of that. You see, that's you know, different. That would be your worst. You now that would be your worst heartbreak, huh? No, but get, no. You see, that's different because. <laughs> but, at that point, remember, you have already fallen in love with that girl and you would have yeah, been satisfied but, yeah, with everything then, that you were getting. But, yeah, but in your head, in your heart, you're not expecting any of that in, in her past. Yeah, you know? yeah, that's true. Cause it, it shouldn't matter. It shouldn't matter because you're in love with the person now. But I'm telling you, the moment you find that out, worse if you find that out a different way. Yeah. Worse if I am the one to tell you, like, yo, concept. That she was my favorite stripper. <laughs> Yo, Craig. Yo, that's very interesting, Craig. Yo, Craig, you you married this girl, right? And you love her like you love yourself, man. And only to find out that a couple of your friends used to hit it. Oh shit! Man. Oh, that, that that no, Dude. that would that would tear you apart, man. Like, oh shit. Craig. Yeah, that was- that would be your worst heartbreak. Dude, I'm gonna be pissed, man, because like, would you divorce? Okay, I be I be mad at I be more angry at my friends than her. I be mad at her too, but more of my friends than her because like, <laughs> if I was your friend before her and you like, if I'm your friend, you should tell me that as soon as you see me trying to date this chick. No, like, no, but wait, happened. wait, wait. So, what if it's a friend who, who who is meeting her for the very first time? He, as in, you should tell no, me right around you, like he's seen her for the very first time, knowing that she's your girlfriend. I will hope that that dude tells me, you know, tells me like what was up. Because like, what if I met your girlfriend and then I told you something happened with us? Wouldn't you be like, yo, fuck that dude, man? Oh no! You, I, wouldn't, I, you, wouldn't you be a little angry though if I was like, okay? Honestly, yeah, suddenly, why, why should that matter in the relationship though? No, of if, course like, it matters. For example, it, 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 it we matters. are men. We have. Egos. So now, I, let me think about that. Like, if I'm Carlos cool. was dating a girl a long time ago, and then ten years or five years later, she's here and she's dating you, Craig, and then Carlos tells you that hey, they used to have something, you know, relationship. If it was Why something that, that wasn't like like a serious thing, then <laughs> I guess I wouldn't really worry about it. But like, what <laughs> if, if it was somebody that I was in love with? And I would just give my hey, all to, and hey. we broke up for whatever reason. Nah, the nah. calls against with it. <laughs> it's like, no, know. Craig. And they get man, married or if, something. I'd be like, yo, what the fuck? This like, is me, man. If if I was hitting something, and, and years way. after I hear that you you got married with, to her, man, I I would tell you the worst way, man. I'd be like, man, your wife. I used to tear that shit up, though. <laughs> I'm gonna tell you the worst way, man. I'm gonna tell you. I used to tear that shit up, though. <laughs> Yo, okay, I, I know. I that think you... it should only matter if it was recent, but if it was like years ago, I think it really doesn't matter. Yeah, years ago, I think it would be all right, but if it's like recent, sort of, yeah. Yeah, but 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 what if I tell you that she do some crazy things with me? <laughs> matter if it was years ago, it don't matter. But if it was recent, oh no, nah, great. It'd be a little weird you to know also know how one of your friends like had sex with your wife. Like that'd be weird. Man, you would go to your bed every night thinking about that shit. You would have crazy nightmares. <laughs> oh my god! I tell you about that. 
like you, no, you, we are men. You see, you, not being in the situation, you can say whatever now. But going through that shit, yo, that, yo, that shit would tear you up, yo. You go to bed at night just thinking about like even you wouldn't even look at her the same way, dog. Chances are you would you would just you would, you would divorce her because every time you look at her, you're just gonna see me tearing that spanking her from behind and and ripping that shit up, man. Like, man, you nah, oh, man, that gonna mess up your ego, dog. No, I think I mean, I'm not. I don't. I, it probably, I think it would. Yeah, I don't know. It would. We are we're men. So, so Mina, <laughs> Mina, tell, t- tell the truth. Like, if you had a guy and you, you got married to, with him and then one of your high school girlfriends met you at some point and she told you that she used to have sex with that guy and she can't believe that's your husband or whatever. It's like, you know. And like, what, they, what they, they, they were serious about no. like, They, they both, were Mina, serious? They both loved each other. Well, it has to depend on the time frame. Like, when, like, how recent was Hello? this? Y- yeah, but regardless of the time mm-hmm. frame, what if... Mm-hmm. Huh? Hey, Can you hear us? Hey, slow. Alright. Hello? Hey, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, you just yeah. got one of your groupies just called you or something? <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay, I got hey, you. Hey, they, they you. fans, man. Oh, they fans. fans. Okay, I got you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but, 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 I mean, yeah. not, not to... I, not that stray away from the from what Mina was saying, you know. But like it, for me, it will have to. It will depends on the time from like how recent was it or something. I mean, yeah, from the jump, I am gonna be upset, but I wouldn't break up with him because he used to mess with you know somebody else because I wasn't in their life at that time, yeah, so it but, really but, didn't. But doesn't what matter. if that girl has the reputation of being a hoe? Oh, show. Okay. That really doesn't have anything to do with me. Yeah, but check your phone concept. I I don't know what if what if check she, your messages. I got you. I got you. I got you. Okay, mm-hmm. slow. I mean, it was good having you. you yeah, know, I, I know you gotta attend to a couple groupies right now, but um, we'll definitely like to have you on the podcast at some point again. And thank you for yep. sharing your experiences. I know you started as a gangster. Pleasure but, was the pleasure was all mine. <laughs> all right, that's that, that's good to know, yo. And um, just you know, have a great day. I mean, all right. Same See to you, you slow. guys. Big up to my podcast mates. <laughs> <laughs> have a good right. day. All right, bro. Be good now. Be good. <laughs> all right. You know, we always do it good, man. All, all right. right. All right. Man. All right. All right. Cool, 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 cool. Good night. Oh, good night. Right. Night. I was saying loyalty means to me one's faithfulness that is extended to another partner, um, despite whatever situation that may arise. Um, it is the ability of um, the primary person to protect the other partner's interests um, wow. ac- from any negative element that may um, deter the person's happiness. That's Sounds loyalty. like you're reading this right from an encyclopedia or something. <laughs> no, not really far from an encyclopedia. I'm talking about what it is into my version and from my ex- past experiences. But, but would you say you have had loyalty more than heartbreak in all your past relationships? Um, it's a, well, it's, 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 a, it's a balanced combination, I would say. Um, okay. For me, based on few experiences, mm-hmm. um. It may be an extent where I uh, I extend a lot of loyalty, um, but it it was you know impacted um, tremendously from um, the other partner based on negative experiences. So okay, um, despite all of that, you know, as as loyalty in a sense means, you know, you. You're committed to that person, so despite the negative aspects, you will still pursue. You still, you know, yeah. endure. But if I was to ask you, like, well, what's your worst heartbreak, like, and, and how you dealt with it? Oh, my God. Oh, my worst heartbreak. Man, you sound like that. you've been through a lot of heartbreaks, yo. <laughs> 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 I've been, I been through a roller coaster, yes, a few heartbreaks. But there's nothing that I cannot conquer. 
So uh, that, that's the spirit. Um, my work heartbreak though is. You don't have my to give us too much details, but you know. Right, my partner's infidelity. That's that's my word heartbreak, really. Yeah. And um, do do you feel like uh, like if you're ever to go through something like that again, you feel like you'd be able to handle it? And and like, how did you how did you recoup from that first one? Well, as Bob Marley would. Say, um you would if you really love a person who you love that you would go the extra mile for um there i can't basically foresee in the future that say okay i can endure another heartbreak because um the situation into who you are extending yourself towards that makes the difference so um yes to answer your last question, um, I've been through heartbreaks. How I endured or I remain the same throughout our hope <laughs> with it is mm-hmm. that um, it's just the love that I have for the person, the history that I have with the person um, that made the difference. Um, you know, you, you want to basically separate from the negativity, but you know, there's a part of you that is battling to say, okay, then you still want to give it a try. You still want to make things work. And yeah. especially if you have religious beliefs and morals behind that, yeah. you know, you're saying to yourself, oh, I can forgive this person. You know, this person would learn their lesson or this person won't, you know, repeat the same offense to do anything to um, betray my to, trust. Yeah, to betray your trust again. And um, right. I know it's it's a uh, like with with men we would we would um like get in our hearts broken we you know we we would be more more defined like we we would we would not necessarily want to try or be as as um optimistic that it would work out uh, again. Yeah, but, well, but, well, a man, but a, does, a man, uh huh. Yeah, but I, I want not to, to I want, you. Yeah. Not to cut you on that, a man is different from a woman. Well, the perspective these days has changed, and not to be bashed by females out there, but that has changed in a sense where a woman has more value for herself. So even though she may get um, offers or proposals or find other interests in other men um, out there that would take away the attention from you know, they're... Wait, wait are um, you saying that wait. nowadays women have more value in their self or they're, they're more... Ver- no, that's what I'm saying. I don't want the female um, um, characters there to um, prejudge or mistake what I'm saying. Oh, okay. But the, what, what the evidence has basically proven from based on my observation is that female these days tends to, to get even, per se, with the male. Oh. So while a male may say, okay, then I got my heart broken. I can't trust you anymore. I'm going to basically just bounce, you know, I'm just yes. gonna move on to another so person, you know. Women are more I'm, I'm not going to stick with this. A woman back then, or a woman based on religious beliefs such as me, that has been brought up in a Christian home, yeah. um, I would basically lean towards more of forgiving, um, trying to analyze to see how best I can cope with the situation given that I care about the person. Do, 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 but women today, in comparison, do, do, they are on the opposite. Well, so wait, they, wait, if wait. you do me something, I'm gonna get I'm gonna get even, you know? Yeah. But but, so, but um we have a female here too. So I, I would just wanna know if like that's the way um she would approach things too. Like do do you feel like I mean if a guy continuously hurts you you would Forgive him. Um, I don't know how religious you are, Mina, but do you think that you would um, you would forgive him and, and try to find to see if you can have some redemption? You know, <laughs> for the first time, like if he cheats or whatever do, does something. Yeah. The first time, yes, I would forgive him, but okay. if it keeps happening again and again and again. Yeah, but how many times do you think that you like things? you'd be messing up for you to accept him like like um 
You will have to do it, I think, twice. Twice? Yeah. And you would for, say you probably forgive him, like, twice? No, no, no. I'll forgive him once. The second time, if he does it again, then... Yeah, but but don't don't you think that you you have to be in that experience to to actually say cuz just saying one or two times don't you think that if you're actually going through it and you really love the person don't you think that you would regardless just forgive him if it's like uh, the thing i don't the thing i stick to is like if you really love someone there's certain things that you wouldn't do you know like for example like if you love me and you know that you doing something is going to hurt me, you wouldn't do it because I'm someone that you love. You wouldn't see me hurt, you know, or you wouldn't be the cause of me getting hurt or anything. That's how I see it. So even if I was through that, I know it will hurt me and it will definitely hurt him, but I wouldn't go through it. It just won't be the same if he cheats on me a second time. I can't forgive him. I really can't. That's, that's understandable. If but he keeps doing it, it's a habit, not a mistake. <laughs> it's a habit. Yeah. You can't yeah. just, no. Yeah, but, so, but Craig, I mean, you you cheat on a girl, like, just, let's just see how you would view things. Like, you cheat on a girl, like, three times, and forg she forgives you um, three times. She finds all, all of those times and forgives you. Um, What does that make, how does that make you feel, like? You know, you feel like it's okay to do it again? I don't huh. know because that would be a weird situation to be in where I can just keep cheating and then it appeared that you'll just let me keep doing it. I mean, I haven't, I've never done that and I never will do that. So I don't really know. Okay. That, that's just a, that's, that's a strange kind of situation to be in. Like, see, I don't know. Because at that point, if I was in a situation where I can just cheat and she would just presumably keep forgiving me yeah then I, if i was that person then i guess i would just continue doing whatever i wanted to do because there would be no consequences but yeah. me sitting here today yeah i would tell you that i wouldn't do that because I, I don't want that to be done to me yeah. i think we do we need we need a guy here who cheats a lot because i mean I, 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 can't, I can't i can't say that i've cheated i can't <laughs> right. I, I can't say like, that. How, i don't how, know if i cheated how so weird would that be speak. how weird would that be if i can just have my girlfriend have my wife whoever she, like whatever and then I can just still go do whatever else I want with any other woman. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's very strange, though, to just know that, oh, I can just do it. Like, that, Yo. man, like, you just, like, destroying somebody's, like, you know. Emotions. Emotions completely. So I wouldn't do that. I wouldn't feel comfortable doing that. I would feel like a horrible person. Exactly. And I would be. I yeah. wouldn't be. My conscience wouldn't let me do it. I just would feel too bad about it. I couldn't do to it. To cheat? Yeah. Or to keep cheating? To cheat. Okay. And keep cheating. Yo, I would that, feel that's, really bad. So, about so, it. so Bridge, you, you, if you, you cheated on, I don't know if you, you're gonna say it's Wait, possible for you to ever cheating. do that. But like, I mean, yeah. hey, because I mean, we are I'm humans. Saying. We can slip up. Now, I mean, so, I mean, <clears throat> yeah, but you slipping up so many times, and they keep forgiving you. At a certain point, it's not slipping up. It becomes something else entirely. A like, habit. So it's Bridge, a habit. yeah, a habit. Bridge, yeah. whatever it's called. Bridge. Hello. Yes, I'm here. Oh, yes, I'm oh here. No, no, I'm just saying, like, do, I don't know if you have ever done it or thought about it, but if you, if you have ever, like, do, do right, just think about it. Let's just say you have a guy and you cheat on him. Um, how, wh what kind of mind frame would you think? I mean, don't say you, you wouldn't do it, because that's what I women would say. I wouldn't do it, but right. it's, you're human. It no, shit I've happens. Never seen, never. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So let's just say you do it, and and, and right, the guy yeah. forgives you. Like what? What position do you think you're in? Like at that point, do you think well, that? Well. Mm -hmm. Well, uh, you be so you feel so guilty. So therefore, despite the person's forgiveness, and the person's trying to make it work, you be prejudged there on out. So every activity that you undertake will be screened. For example, if you go out with, with your girlfriend, then he will be wondering, you know, it's like putting a strain on him because yeah. you have broken his trust, you know, yeah. you, have broke, you, you know, his loyalty for you has has been hampered by yeah. uh, by that infidelity. Um, yeah. So at a sense, it's going to put a strain on the relationship. But mm -hmm. the, what, what you have to understand is that for you to regain trust and you have to basically put in work and the work is not an overnight um, process. It's not 
something that you can put a time frame on. True. It takes years, years to rebuild that yeah. trust. So therefore, you will feel guilty each time because each time he looks at you or each time he's asking you questions, then you know where exactly his mind is at because you did it before. So therefore, mm-hmm. he's thinking that every activity that you undertake is pertaining to that aspect. You understand know what I'm saying? So eventually, if, if, if um, it's going to put a strain, so eventually maybe there will be a separation while... If you really, if the persons really care about their, um, you know, the relationship, and they will put in the work to, okay. you know, rebuild that trust. Yeah, but, um, I, would, I would say it would definitely be some kind of strain or some kind of breakup. Like, it's I, just, I just, I just don't see how it's possible to, for either side to want to continue to be in that situation. Exactly. But the thing is with me, I, I honestly, yo, I don't think I, I would forgive her because I know who I am. If, if I love somebody. Most of the times I put my, my all into them, like, you know, I just, I just give it a shot and a real good shot to make, make it work. Yeah. So if, I mean, she cheats on me, I, I honestly, I think it's over. I don't think I would be in a position where I say, okay, let's try again. I mean, so may, maybe I'm, I'm just being too manly about it, but I don't think I, I couldn't handle it. Like, I mean, you I'm can't, weak. You can't, I don't know I, if I'm I, weak. I reject but, that notion. Uh-huh. I reject that notion. You can never say never because you can never predict. But well, as a, true, as, that's, as why true, I bro- that's why I, I, I started off by bringing Bob Marley's quote into it by saying that it depends on the love that you have for that person, that one person that you find in your life. Mm-hmm. You know, I, I've been looking at myself sometimes and I'm like saying to myself, oh, you know, Back then, I would never stand for certain shit. I would never do certain shit. You know what I'm saying? But is is that one person that you found in the stage or the mind frame that you are in that changes things? So you can never say, you know, I'm just going to walk away. Some of the times we we say these things so easily. Mm -hmm. But if you want to walk away from or or give up on a person that, that easily... Because of one mishap, it means that you never genuinely care about a person. Well, well you, ha- if you, you have love a point. somebody you uncon- have a point. You if, have if you a point. do love somebody unconditionally, this that is what unconditionally means. Despite whatever happened, you know, you should overlook that because that's what unconditional is all about. But if you are just, you know, you care about a person um, to more than a friendship level, you know, um, and the person breaks your heart or defies your trust then yeah. it would be easy rather than continuing just to disembark or go your separate ways but if you mm-hmm. genuinely care about a person like that you're not going to give up that easily it's going to be torture just so, being away from that yeah, person yeah the, the, so, so I, 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 the, the true love the true uh-huh. love succeeded succeeds all per se okay you, so, you're going to look up beyond the situation. So, so Mina, I, I take it that you would concur with what she's saying. Yeah. I do. Like, if you really love someone, that's why I said, like, if he cheats one time, like the first time, of course I'm gonna forgive. You know, it's it won't be easy. There won't be no trust, but you know, I'll try to give it, make it work. You know, but yeah. you know, a second time, then now it's like, yo, you know. I'm not sure where you're going with this, but you, I gave you one life. You, you, you messing with it, you know? So yeah. it's like... Well, I mean, hey, may, maybe I'm just being too... too, um, too gangster about this, <laughs> you know? You no, know, but experience teaches wisdom. Once you've been there and you find out one person... Well, just, hey, you know how I am. I mean, you have, <laughs> you know that I've been in relationships that have failed, and yeah, you know I don't, me, I don't. You weren't all, you weren't one hundred percent all there, you know. Co- what? what? You weren't one hundred percent. You, you, hurt, <laughs> you, but you were one hundred percent. You had your intuitions or something to start that prompt you to say, you know what? Yeah, I don't <laughs> think this is gonna work out. But you're there observing to see if the actions matches your perception, and once you got that confirmation, then. You know, it was easy for you to try. Yeah, yeah, all right, but hey, don't forget, because you know who I am. You, of all persons, have been influencing me from time to time that I should still try with somebody after they mess up. 
And I just kept saying no. I, 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 and you know I value your advice, but I just kept saying no. And time after time, you right. have realized that the decision that I chose was the right one. Right? You're right. So, right, ju- right, so right. judging from all of that, I mean, that's, that's why I, I say that I probably wouldn't try again. Because um, after True, the, but, I passed well, like that. If you had, who to tell if you had put in the, the, the necessary work? strength or energy into that on a second basis, it would have worked. You see, the thing is, it depends on who the person is. So if, if, if you see from the get-go that the person is not 100% for you, and the relationship is not a one-way street. From you realizing that you're giving over 50. Relationship is 50-50. And once you realize you're giving, always giving over 50, another person is lagging behind. That's a clear indication. So don't be fooled. Don't go overboard. It's a clear indication that, you know, for here, I can clip it from okay. early. So, um... Because we're getting late, um, for like final thoughts, like what would you advise people out there who have been through countless heartbreaks? Like, what would you advise them on? Like, to, to because you cannot well, give up on love. So, what what would be your you best cannot, advice? You can never give up on love. Um, it all depends on who you are loving, and the qualities about the person. If the good outweighs the bad, then stick around. Okay. If the bad always the good. Just you don't keep belong stepping. there. Okay. So just what, don't what? belong there. Just just continue with your self development. Protect your self interest. Remember that you are more valuable than anybody else, and you know love comes from within. And if you can't love yourself enough to know that, you know to step away from negative energy, then you are in a bad situation. Okay. You know, just love yourself first. And put yourself first in everything. Okay, um, that's that's I can I can I I can feel you on that one, um, Craig. What would be your advice for I mean people who have been through countless heartbreaks? Actually, I have to just kind of agree with what she just said though, because I don't know really, I don't really know any other way to put it. You know, you have to know yourself before you can try to give it to anybody else, really. So, um. I don't know, man. I, I just I, I agree with how she ended it. And Mina, I feel what the would same you say? Way. What do you say, Mina? Or advice would you give them all there? I feel the same way. She said a lot of good stuff. <laughs> like you should put it in well, every, every, like, Everybody feels the same way. She, 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 no, she knows what like, she's talking about. She knows. She knows it. Okay. Well, I mean, hey, for me, I'd say follow your happiness. Wherever, ha- wherever, that, wherever that takes you, wherever that gut feeling takes you, I mean, sometimes your mind is telling you to do something and your heart isn't. But I would say if your heart is not telling you the same thing that your mind is telling you, don't go for it. If you have to question it, don't go for it. So at the end of the day, we all just want to be happy. And that's all. That's my final thought. Follow your happiness. And um, that should just wrap it up for this episode of the Concepts Podcast. Um, thank you, Craig. Thank you, Mina. Thank you, Bridge. Thank you, Slu, for being a part of today's episode. And uh, it means a lot to me. And I just want to let you guys know you're great. And everyone who, who have listened, I hope we can always um, have good conversations and develop together. On that note, I would like to say, please leave your comments. And um, don't forget to check back for, the, for next week's episode. God bless you all. Concept. Bye.